Well, it is a gorgeous afternoon. And as we said in the previous video, if the weather was nice, we were gonna get out here and work on the greenhouse. So the first thing we're gonna try and do is get in and put in what, well, people refer to as a climate battery, uh, an earth battery, lots of different names. Bottom line is we're gonna dig down underneath the greenhouse really deep, or at least we're gonna see if we can. We're gonna see if that little tractor, which I lovingly refer to as the honey badger, can dig down pretty deep underneath this greenhouse. So we'll explain more later. gonna have to do it for tonight got probably dug down at least about 18 inches maybe 20 almost two feet at the deepest point right in the middle so far so good haven't hit any rock so the question is can we get down at least four feet without hitting a major thing of rock but it seems like that little tractor is gonna do it Unfortunately, we didn't get out here and shoot any video yesterday when it was really beautiful out, but did spend the entire day on the tractor digging this hole underneath the greenhouse. Got down to about three and a half feet at the near end here, and then of course sloping out because we got to keep digging out and being able to back the tractor out of here. So we're going to go and just show you real quick some video of the hole itself and unfortunately that it's turning into a pond now. And we're gonna head inside in the shop. I'm gonna try and just draw this out and show exactly what this earth battery or climate battery system, how it's supposed to function and what we're hoping to do as we move forward on this greenhouse project. Well, as you can see, unfortunately, we got an entire day of rain and this is how much it has amounted to in the bottom of this hole. This is really going to delay progress on this project. I had to start on it yesterday. I mean, got to work on it when we can work on it. And uh, so hopefully it will, maybe we'll get a stretch without rain and some good sunny days, maybe with some wind and this will get dried out. All right, let's go to see, show you how much dirt came out of this hole. So this is all the dirt that came out of that hole. So obviously when we dig this up and get air mixed into it, it expands quite a bit. This is a pretty big pile of pretty big pile of dirt from that hole. All right, we're gonna go inside the shop now. Well, first thing I wanna do is try and talk through this earth battery system or climate battery system that we're putting in under the greenhouse. All right, so our greenhouse is six foot tall on the sides. It's roughly 16 feet wide. And it goes back something about 50 feet long. It goes up 10 feet to the ridge which gives us 10 feet and 50 feet. This gives us roughly 6,400 cubic feet inside the greenhouse. What happens during the day on a bright sunny day is that we're getting temps rising inside the greenhouse and they could get anywhere near 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we wanna try and bring that temperature during the day down and hopefully take advantage of it. So that's why we're gonna put in this earth battery system. So what we're gonna do is run pipes under the ground and these will come down four feet and turn and run the length of the building. And if you can imagine, there will be pipes going back all the way across the whole bottom of the greenhouse. There'll be six of them going back. I don't have six here, but they will go back and come up in a return in this corner over here. We're gonna go from the back corner of the greenhouse and run another inlet pipe coming down. This one will go two feet and go all the way back over here and connect and it'll also have six pipes lines running down so we've got them running at two feet and four feet total that's going to give us in terms of linear feet which is 10 percent of our volume 10 percent of that in linear feet 
So about 600 plus or minus feet is what we're gonna end up with under the ground. So what this does, hopefully, how this system will work is that we will take hot air from here, bring it down into the ground and run it through these pipes all the way across in the, in the earth. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we've got hot air coming in here and going across the whole length of the floor of the greenhouse. And if the ground temperature is ideally, let's say year round, roughly 60 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus to time, depending on the time of the year, and especially because we're not going quite as deep, it would actually be more consistent if we got down to eight feet would become much more consistent. The further you go, that stays consistent year round. We're not gonna be able to go down six feet or eight feet. We're gonna go with four feet. And I've seen online, uh, a, there's a company out west that installs these professionally. And this is what they do, is they only do four and two feet for this system. And it works well for them. So the hot air comes down. As it moves across these pipes in the earth, it will come back out at a much cooler temperature into the greenhouse. So we've got evaporative cooling as that hot, humid air is coming across these pipes and eventually work their way back up. This comes up here and you get the idea is that we've got hot air going down in, charging the ground. So it's taking that 60 degree earth temperature and heating it up during the day. I mean, imagine if we're running a hundred degree air underneath here, uh, kind of a heat exchanger effectively under the ground. And that's where this idea of a battery, an earth battery comes from, is that you're storing that energy, that heat energy into the soil during the day heating up the soil let's say you know it goes up to i don't know 80 degrees or something during the day you get that red clay really warmed up you bring down the temperature in the greenhouse maybe by the end of the day you reach equilibrium so you get 80 degrees or 70 degrees during the day and you're getting that ground temperature uh, the same as well but then as the sun sets, and because this is not an, a very well insulated structure, you're going to start losing the temperature in the greenhouse very quickly. At that point, when the fan is running, you're going to pull, uh, you're going to turn the fans back on, start taking that cool air, running it back through the ground as well, and start pulling the heat back out of the soil that you store during the day and bring up the greenhouse temperature in the evening. Well, that is an attempt to, to explain this earth battery system that we're putting in underneath the greenhouse. We'll bring you along each week as we're doing this, as we're able to. Unfortunately said, that rain is a major setback in digging the hole for us. And this is a place where if you had a backhoe, it would be much easier. But we have a tractor, so we are not going to expend the money on renting a backhoe to do it. We'll just have to be patient and dig it as we can. And uh, we'll explain this whole process as we go, but just wanted to show you what we're up to, what we've been doing this week and what will be happening coming up. What else are we gonna do? Well, we gotta order seeds. So we're going through catalogs, picking all the seeds that Isaac is gonna be growing out for vegetable starts. So that's pretty exciting. Well, that's it for this week. I hope everyone has a terrific week ahead. And until the next video from here at St. Isidore's Farm, take care and God bless. That's no good. crazy that repairing these two little plastic parts costs something like $50 on Amazon, but considering this thing's about $120 still, grateful that we have access to those parts and as easy as they were, quick repair and we are back in business.